17-year-old Michael Henry passed away just after 6 o'clock this morning after he was shot several times on Sunday evening. Henry was with a group of four others traveling to Belize City from the direction of Hatteville Village when death came knocking at his door. The teen was seated in the back of the Ford Fusion sedan with 32-year-old Rudolph Gladden and 27-year-old Tevin Montero. According to Montero, who is also Henry's neighbor, the gunman unleashed a hail of bullets as the group neared the Chetamal Street roundabout on the George Price Highway. We gonna take a swim, you know? We don't come down. We don't expect nobody for trouble where what's not because we don't have people into their life to get sense. Maybe people's way we know into their kind of life there and we reach a gas station and you know. Somebody come out of a black vehicle open fire power we you know and about almost 15 shots going out of a vehicle that, night, that, that, that evening there. When the man get hit, he couldn't get no reaction. I watch, I watch my little brother. I watch my little brother. He, he couldn't move, you get a sense? He eyes, he eyes, they don't move, not on. And I thought to this man, brother, brother, you dead to it. My brother couldn't move, you know? This man couldn't get a reaction. This man gave a hit. We be fatal to her. We rushed this man to the hospital, birds. Right? We back this man in our bed and we put her there. I never believed that last time I hold my little brother in my hand. Henry was an employee at Global Com BPO since January of this year, and according to his supervisor, Anthony Wagner, the basketball fanatic quickly rose to the ranks due to his charisma and determination. When I first met him in January, I said, I need you to come and take my job. And he laughed about it and I said, no, I'm serious. I said, because you have the potential, bro. And I want you to come and take this job so I can move up. And within, you know, a couple months, he moved up in the ranks. Wagner says that when he got the news from Henry's girlfriend this morning, he couldn't believe that his friend was gone. This morning when I got the news, um, it was tough. The first thing I saw on Facebook this morning was that he did get shot. You know, I heard all the police passing through here and everything and I saw it that he got shot and didn't know, you know, of his demise until a little later. I got the call from his girlfriend saying that, you know, he had died and it, it, it was like, you know, I got shot because he, does, he doesn't give trouble. If, if he's giving trouble out there, nobody knows about it because he's not that type of person you know real soft-spoken and he just comes to work and gets the job done honestly you know so it, it was really tough for us and the I, I believe the entire you know the entire global calm family is feeling it you know i know management's feeling it because he was a brother to us and while henry was a brother to wagner he was more importantly a father to a one-year-old daughter and according to montero the father of Juan was not the intended target but just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Montero says that he believes they were targeted due to the area he resides in. Due to the area we live, you get a sense? This is the police street there, you get a sense? We grew up back here. And there, we don't know about the innocent to lie, especially me, you get a sense? I've been to give my little what's not. But I know everybody in this world try to change their life at once, fellow, you get a sense? We try to change our life, you get a sense? My brother, he never gave no trouble, none at all, you know? So, so for the call to we, they kind of weird, uh, uh, for, who opened their monk and shot for we, I mean, you got intentions, you got intentions for, to put hurt for people, but you know the catch who you want to catch. You the catch people who are related to the people that where you want to catch, you get it, you try to show a different kind of pain. While Montero attributes the shooting to a beef within the area, According to Assistant Superintendent of Police, Fritz Roy Yearwood, the motive is yet to be ascertained. Based on what investigators have shared with me so far, because there were more than one person in that vehicle at that time, um, to determine whether or not he was the inter intended target would be difficult for us. And um, in all fairness to him, Based on what I know of him, I am still disturbed by the news. I mean, um, if you knew this youth, knew of his balling capabilities, 
it would be devastating to you hearing that something like this could knock on a door so close to you. Henry leaves behind a one-year and four-month-old daughter. As for 32-year-old Rudolf Gladden, who was also shot in the incident, he remains in a stable condition. Reporting for Love News, I am Vijay Alvarez.